Hi friends, my name is Sarah Zlinski and today I am here to tell you all about the ACT and SAT services that we provide here at the Keller Clinic. And it's a lot, so buckle up because I have a lot of great information to give to you today. First, um, in regards to the test, they both generally cover the same topics. These tests are used for college admissions decisions as well as merit-based scholarships. Most colleges will accept both scores. However, current trends are um, emphasizing more SAT than ACT. The ACT test measures what a student already knows. So the test covers information that they should have learned or been exposed to in high school. Whereas the SAT, that test is more about what the student can learn. It's a predictor of what the student is capable of learning. And so what they're going to be tested on, um, they might not necessarily have been exposed to it before. For this reason, um, students tend to do better on the ACT because they've been exposed to the information before. And this is particularly true uh, for students that tend to struggle with standardized tests. However, again, there are students that do really well on the SAT. Most students, or many students, uh, will choose to take both exams to try to see which one they score the highest on. So, how many times should I take the ACT and SAT? As long as you pay the test fee, there is no limit to how many times you can take the ACT and the SAT. So, um, most colleges will allow students to simply submit their highest score However, there are colleges that ask to see um, all attempts and the scores for each attempt. Research shows that more than 50% of students that retake the ACT a second time will improve their scores. In regards to what content is covered on the ACT versus the SAT, the ACT covers grammar and usage, math, reading, science reasoning, and writing, which is optional. The SAT covers reading, relevant words in context, math, grammar and usage, and analytical writing, which is optional. In regards to what are the formats of the tests, um, the ACT, there is an English section, which is 45 minutes. There is a math section, which is 60 minutes. There is a reading section, which is 35 minutes. There is a science section, which is 35 minutes. And then there is the optional writing section, which is 40 minutes. The SAT test, has a 65 minute reading section, a 25 minute math section with uh, no calculator, a and a 55 minute math session with a calculator. There is a 35 minute writing and language section and then there is a 50 minute optional essay section. So what are the score ranges for the ACT and SAT? Um, ACT English, Math, Reading, and Science scores range from 1 to 36. And so um, a composite ACT score is the average of your scores on all four of them. And so again, that average score ranges uh, you can earn from 1 to 36, 36 being the highest. Your SAT score, um, math and evidence-based reading and writing are each scored on a scale of 200 to 800. And a composite SAT score is the sum of the two section scores and ranges from 400 to 1600. In regards to what the Keller Clinic does, we provide an individualized approach to uh, helping the student gain the most out of our sessions together. So we look at their strengths and their weaknesses and we focus then on enhancing all aspects of their testing 
abilities. So uh, the Keller Clinic tutors will guide the students through the ideology and psychology of the test. We want to prepare them on all fronts. Um, they We're going to show students how to overcome those tricky questions by knowing the thought process of the test writers and to prepare them um, to spend the time accordingly or to know how to budget their time. We are going to share all our tricks and tips for um, minimizing students spending time where they shouldn't and how to read questions carefully to make sure that if there's you know a word like not or which of the following is an example of that they're really paying attention to that word choice so that they're answering it correctly and we also um, assign practice tests that we prefer to have the student do at home so that way when we come together in our sessions we can really focus on going over those scores and seeing what they answered correctly and where they may be missed and how we can help them catch that question and get it right the next time. Um, we help students eliminate mistakes. Um, we help them feel confident through practicing the test and knowing how long they have and feeling prepared. Um, we help build their confidence. So again, as I said before, we prefer to individualize the services for each student. So if you call and ask what can be done for my student if I were to purchase um, an ACT or SAT you know test prep package um, really we we need to meet the student first to know how we can best prepare them for the test. So if you're interested in learning more or in setting up one of those ACT and SAT tutoring sessions um, you can call 248 Three three eight one seven zero zero. Again, that is two four eight three three eight one seven zero zero. The Keller Clinic is located off of Woodward, and it's just north of Square Lake Road. So we're really close by, and we're a convenient place to help you. And we really do want to see your students succeed. So give us a call today. Thanks, and have a great day.